Hello students, welcome to Vinata's Math channel. From today, we are starting uh, the concepts of probability distribution class 1. In the last class, I had explained about the contents of the uh, probability distribution module. Okay, uh, just I am giving a quick recap of the uh, syllabus of uh, probability distribution module the contents are review of basic probability theory the random variables discrete and continuous probability mass and density functions mathematical expectations mean and variance binomial poison and normal distributions the problems related to that the derivations for mean and standard deviation for binomial and poison distributions the examples and the exponential <coughs> distribution these are the syllabus for these are the syllabus for uh, the probability distribution chapter this module or chapter this needs to be studied by all the branch students except the electronics and communication related branches i will give the details about uh, which branch students must read this topic okay so first now let us go to the topic uh, the first topic is the review of basic theories <coughs> let us get to know what is an random experiment since it is all about the probability distribution first we must get to know what is a random experiment random experiment is nothing but an experiment where the outcomes are unknown we can predict but but we cannot tell this will be the outcome exactly this will be the outcome let us take an example of tossing a coin while when you toss a coin you may get either head or you may get or you may get a head okay here you can't say I'll get head only or I'll get tail only it is the probability that you can get a head or you can get a tail so this is an example for random experiment similarly in the throwing a die in throwing a die in this example the faces will be having the there will be six faces this uh, the six faces will be numbered with 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 when you throw a die either you could get you may get 1 or you may get 2 you may get 3 4 5 or 6 you cannot tell exactly i'll get 1 okay so that is called as a random experiment okay next sample points sample points means in this example uh, for explaining the sample points here I have uh, taken an example of uh, tossing a coin in this you will get either head or tail the head or the tail whatever the outcomes we get when we do a random experiment those are called as sample points if we toss a two coins at a time the sample space then it will become head head h or h t first coin may give you the result as head and second coin may give you as t that is h t in the same way t h or t t that could be the sample points when you uh, take two uh, coins tossing experiment okay that is all about the sample points next sample space what is sample space sample space it is being represented by the letter s sample space it is nothing but all the outcomes all the possible outcomes of a random experiment is called as a sample experiment sorry sample space s in tossing a coin you may get head or you may get tail you will not get anything other than these two outcomes so the sample space s will become h and t okay similarly in throwing a die example the sample space will be 1 comma 2 3 4 5 6 sample space it is nothing but it's a set of events 
of all the possible outcomes in a random experiment fine next what is an event event is nothing but when you uh, when you do some random experiments the possible outcome any possible outcome that is called as an event let us consider you are uh, throwing a uh, you are tossing a coin and getting a head it is one event okay or getting an even number when you throw a coin it is an event in dice experiment or getting a number multi, which is a multiple of 3 when you toss a uh, when you throw a die or a multiple of 3 or multiple of 2 like this or an even odd number this will become an example for event event will always be a subset of this sample space so a is a subset of sample space s this is the symbol for subset now let us get to know about a few basic concepts few basic definitions what is an elementary event elementary elementary means only one it or a simple experiment in a simple experiment we, we we must need at least a single element or single sample so elementary event it is nothing but an event where the number of sample points is exactly equal to one that is exactly one sample point in an event those events are called as elementary event i have taken an example in a dice experiment getting a multiple of four in dice experiment how many uh, in in the dice experiment the sample space is let me show you the sample space is one two three four five six correct in this how many numbers we will get as a multiple of four four ones are four four twos are eight right so here we get only four we are not having any sample uh, element as sample point as eight here so we will get only four as an element in this experiment so this event getting a multiple of four in a dice experiment that will become an elementary event fine so four next composite event in the composite event composite means more complex more than one okay in any experiment if the number of elements in a sample space is more than one then it is called as a composite event i have taken the same example that is throwing a die the sample space will be one two six that is one number one two number six here i have taken an example as getting a multiple of two in dice experiment in dice experiment the sample space is from one to six the multiples of two will be let me show you the sample space one two three four five six the multiples two's multiples are two four six so the event will be equal to two four six how many elements are there three elements that is more than one uh, sample points are there so it is called as a composite event okay you got to know about the elementary event and the composite events okay next <coughs> mutually exclusive events mutually exclusive events means there is no common between the two events no common element between the two elements uh, to explain you it in a very easy way let me take an example of always the news channels will say it is an exclusive news uh, no exclusive uh, it is only from this it, it, it is being uh, uh, telecasting in this channel itself you will not 
find this news in no other channels right so no one is publishing or no one is telecasting the news whatever we are telecasting now fine so let me take even as the channel what i have told okay the one who is telecasting the particular news which is exclusive intersection a2 a2 can be any other channel except the a1 the one who is telecasting that okay in that case this the news which is being telecasted here is not being telecasted here so there is no common <coughs> between these two elements uh, these two events that is null you got to know okay so i have taken an example uh, dice experiment a1 sample space will be same s will be equal to 1 to 6 even i have taken an event as getting an odd number in a dice experiment what are the odd numbers you uh, we have from 1 to 6 1 3 and 5 next a2 i have taken the event a2 as getting an even number in dice experiment in dice experiment even numbers are 2 4 6 okay mutually exclusive mutually exclusive means you should not get any common elements if you won't find any common elements between two sets or between two events then those two events are said to be mutually exclusive events now let us check the event a1 and a2 a1 intersection a2 will be equal to see 1 is here do you have any 1 no 3 is here no 3 5 no 5 2 is here no 2 4 no 6 no so a1 intersection a2 is equal to null so these two events are mutually exclusive fine next exhaustive events exhaustive events means the union the union of the events if it is equal to sample space that is s then those events are said to be exhaustive events the same example i have taken here a1 union a2 a1 union a2 if you do union operation union means you have to write all the elements once if there is any common elements between these two then you have to write only once here okay so 1 3 5 2 4 6 i have write uh, i have written it in it in an order <coughs> so no common elements here i have written all the elements and the s s is 1 2 3 4 5 6 those two are equal that is a1 union a2 is equal to s so these two events are said to be exhaustive events if union is equal to sample space then exhaustive if the intersection is null then mutually exclusive events <coughs> next independent events independent events means happening of one event this should not be dependent on any other event in that case the mathematical relationship or to prove the independent events is p of a intersection b <coughs> will be equal to p of a into p of b if this result is satisfied then the event a and b are said to be independent events okay uh, to tell it in a simple way independent event let us consider you and your friend okay if you have decided to go to the college to attend the classes irrespective of your friend's presence like if he or she comes or not you will attend the classes means you are not dependent on anybody 
if your presence in the college if it is dependent on your friend's presence then you are dependent on your friend then that case you will be considered as dependent event okay mathematically we can prove the events are independent if p of a intersection b will be equal to p of a into p of b if these two are not equal then those events will become dependent events you can expect the problems on prove that or check whether the events are exclusive or exhaustive or dependent or independent in your exams okay uh, we have created a telegram uh, chat telegram group in the uh, telegram channel so if you want to join you can join the link will be provided in the description box you can get clarified if you have any doubts there thank you for watching if you like the video hit the like button comment if you have any doubts or any suggestions thank you for watching subscribe to our channel thank you so much happy learning